In this video I'm going to show you a little jQuery plugin I made called jQuery Feedback. Okay, so the other day I was working on a comment form of my own website and um, uh, when a user enters this form um, it should get feedback about what happens with the comment um, if it got submitted or if it got flagged as spam or something went wrong or whatever. So um, I've, I've made it into a, turned it into a plugin uh, which you can use very easily to create uh, to give feedback to the user. The goal is to make it as easy, um, it's over over here, one second. The goal is to make it as easy as uh, the alert function, but the alert fu uh, function isn't very user friendly because the user uh, can't do anything with your page until they press OK, so I need a more elegant solution. Uh, so I made a little plugin and this is uh, how it works, or oh, this is this is what it does. So um, I've implemented this on this page, I'll go to show the code in a minute. But when you uh, click submit, um, you'll get a nice nice black box with uh, some information about what you just did. And uh, it's very easy to, to put your own text in it. Um, the code's over here. So this is the, 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 the code responding to, corresponding to this page. So it's, it's, a, it's a dummy form. It doesn't do anything. It doesn't even submit. Um, so I load jQuery. I load uh, a spinner. That was the little thing you see over here. Which is another... Um, uh, of a JavaScript script uh, from GitHub. I'll post a link to that too. Uh, and, and then my own uh, plugin uh, called Feedback. Uh, so the first thing I do over here is um, I prevent the form from being submitted because it, if it gets submitted, it reloads page and we can't do anything in JavaScript anymore. So basically, this is all the code you need to create the first effect submitting your data with care and uh, the spinner over there. So this true parameter. Um, it tells uh, the feedback to show the spinner. If it's false or if it's uh, if you don't include the second parameter at all, it, it's automatically false, then you won't see spinner. Um, so right now uh, we just uh, wait two seconds and then run this code and this code uh, just uh, assigns a new message uh, with, with no second parameters so false so we don't see a spinner anymore. So uh, that's this one. We can click it away and then it will uh, disappear or, or we can just wait five seconds which, which is the, um, uh, the default. You can also uh, uh, set it in the options. Okay, so that's basically what it does. Um, over over uh, of all the codes in GitHub, I'll post link. Is the link's in the description. Um, I'm still working on it so you can uh, change all the CSS properties. Right now I'm doing all of that in the plugin, so you just have to install one file instead of uh, some HTML and some CSS and some JavaScript. So, uh, so yeah, basically that's it. I uh, I implement it over here. We're gonna show you how it looks like over here. So uh, this is a comment. Uh, so, uh, this is my comment section, and I've implemented it a little, a uh, little more difficult with AJAX and stuff. So when you click comment, it says submitting your comment, and your comment has been added. Uh, so basically what happens is that, let me check where the code is, over here, so um, this is the code that handles the form sub, uh, uh, submit. So, so first uh, we check some stuff if it's failed and, um, and or not because we only want failed, uh, failed comments. Um, so here what I do is I say uh, submitting your comment with second parameter to true. And, uh, and I get a message back from my server indicating if the, the comment was successful or not, or something happened, or it flagged that spam, or whatever. And it will show that message. So, uh, so basically that's it. Uh, 